you know, you just pick what you want to do, okay? You pick what you want to do. It's your decision, but I'm just going to give you the pros and cons. Because the pros outweighs the cons sometimes. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, family. If you're new here, my name is Sty. If you're not new here, welcome back, welcome back. We would like to thank you for coming back. But in the meantime, let's get right into the video. Okay, so today I wanna give you some pros and cons about Georgia Southern. Yes, that's my school. I go to Georgia Southern, I'm an education major, but I'm gonna give you a lot information another for another video for another time to tell you about myself so i'm just going to give you like the pros and cons of what i think about georgia southern and what i think that um you know my honest opinions and some things i you know i just do not like like seriously they need to fix it i just plan uh anyways let's get to the video so one thing that i wanted to talk about today is i'm sorry i'm pulling up my list it just is it out by accident but okay so first we're going to start with the pros so the first pro would be the food is good in the cafe and i think lakeside is better than landrum near the mail center but to me both of them be packed okay both of them be packed but i really like landrum because the food quality is good the customer service is very good and you can't go wrong with the choices they give you. Like, it's not no top dollar type of food. Like, if you go out to eat, but it's doable for you to get yourself, um, you know, get yourself full. So, and also another thing about Landrum, they let you take stuff home. So that's a plus. Um, a lot of places in a lot of um, colleges do not require that and don't allow, allow you to do that. So that's one thing about Landrum. Okay. So, uh, dun, dun, dun. Mail Center is another pro about Georgia Southern. The Mail Center of Georgia Southern is very, very, very beneficial. Um, it's very affordable. If you have a package or if your mom sends you something which is free, then you can just go pick it up. Especially if you live on campus, the Mail Center will get you right. Um, I send off like mail, um, mail packages all the time. Like, paperwork and stuff that I need to go shipped off. I send it off all the time with the mail center in Georgia Southern on campus near um near the dining commons. But like I said, you still have to pay for things and you still have to just be precautious of what you send out because they're not gonna allow you to send too much in oversized items, you know, to wherever you send them to. So that's a pro is the mail center is fast, affordable, and you can get your own P.O. box too. I forgot to mention that. And um, you can have your own little key to go to it if you don't want to have your P.O. box outside of campus. And I think the P.O. box on the campus is just $20 unless they don't went up on prices. From when I first got one mine, it was $20. Okay. All right. So the next pro is all staff is very helpful and will guide you where you need and it's fast responses for example financial aid so financial aid is very 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 helpful on the georgia southern campus you may run into a lot of things um with some schools in a lot of situations and stuff with financial aid but at georgia southern i haven't gotten nothing but good experiences with financial aid i'm not gonna lie to you um i know from my old school i was at the financial aid sucks really bad really really bad but georgia southern financial aid is so on point they will get you right fast emails fast calls you can do a zoom virtual thing if you needed to and also you can do like you can do a face-to-face -face deal and um, if you just want to do a text they can have the text option ready for you online so i love financial aid or something like they really helped me out so much with a lot of things so that's another place um so financial aid okay and i'm gonna go on to say that the staff is very helpful the prof the professors are now uh helpful helpful too let me slow down um the professors in 
all other staff is very helpful on campus. You will never run across the fact that you have a question and you won't have your question answered. That's not the case with Georgia Southern. You will always get your questions answered and they will be very glad and, help, and so, so willing to help you. They will not hesitate to help you at all. Like if any question you have, ask them questions, okay? Because I ask questions all the time. I'm a very question-based girl and some people don't like that about me because i just ask so many questions but i ask questions because i really want to know when i need help so if you run across the fact that you need help and you have a lot of questions um professors and the staff of george southern is very good with that all right next pro so the next problem we'll talk about is they always have something to do on campus especially for freshmen and transfer students so in the beginning of the school year um well, before the school year starts, so this summer, you will probably have, um, it's May right now, so basically this summer. So this summer for the freshmen at George Southern, you will have a thing called SOAR, and SOAR will end transfer students too. Don't, I'm not going to leave y'all out. <laughs> um, you're going to have a thing called SOAR, and SOAR is something that is like a orientation, which is, it, it is orientation. You meet new friends, you get your schedule, you talk to your advisor. You ask any questions you talk about the housing your parents do not go with you for this one i had to do a virtual store but it was still good and beneficial but for the people that um coming in i think they're going back to face-to-face -to -face store so you will get that experience i didn't get that full experience which is okay because you know i got the virtual experience it's okay but um uh, i was a little sad because i heard so it's very 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 fun so keep that in mind but yes um so as the year, you know, starts on on campus, for the freshmen, they do have something um, every day almost. I think they have like jumper houses. Well, it's not jumper houses. Let me, <laughs> let me rephrase that. They have like slides and stuff. I guess what the company is, like what, like slides and stuff. They have different games. They have different, um, they have different staff out there, like, you know, starting different things out there, you know, that y'all can talk about, play. Uh, you just get to know a lot of people and they have a lot of events the first two, three weeks of school, honestly. And a lot of things that will keep you from being in your room all the time. So that's a plus. Um, next pro is they have tutoring for free that will help you with your homework for assignments. I know I went for chemistry one time, guys, for my homework um, on campus. And... I was so skeptical about going to tutor because I was like, oh, I don't want to make myself look like I'm a dummy because I don't know what I'm doing. But I had to go to a class called Separate Chemistry. And Separate Chemistry was very challenging because I'm not a chemistry type major or, you know, I'm not really good with science like that. So I'm good with math, but not science. So it was a little bit of both. So that tutoring center is the first floor of the library on Georgia Southern campus. It was very beneficial for me. And it they helped me with everything. Like I was getting good grades on my homework assignments. I was getting great good foot feedback um, from my professors once I went to tutoring there at the tutor center on the first floor, the bottom floor. And you know, the library have different levels, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But Yes, tutoring is free, so that's a pro about George Southern. You never go wrong with free things, okay? Um, dun, 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 dun. And also, the library has great study hours, and um, it is four floors. So the higher the floor is, the I think it goes the higher the floor, the quieter you have to be. Besides the tutoring first floor, so yeah. All right, so the next pro is they give you a lot of free stuff in, in events. Yes, yeah, so I kind of touched base on this. I don't know why I have it twice, but yes, they give you a lot of free stuff. Like when I first started Georgia Southern, uh, I could just be walking on campus and they have a lot of things like organizations and stuff and people like different visitors and stuff on campus. They have a lot of little things around the Rotonda area. And I, I will do a later video to show you that, but um, they have a lot of little things in the Rotona area, and it's like a lot of organizations and a lot of little different tablings and stuff be out there, and they be passing out free stuff. Do not take up the free stuff. Do not pass it up. I'm sorry. Do not pass it up, okay? Get the free stuff. <laughs> Even if you feel like, no, I don't need that. Take it. Just take it. <laughs> You're going to need it. 
one day. <laughs> um, for example, I got a lot of t-shirts from Georgia Southern. Like, I went to different events, of course, to get the free stuff. But sometimes they can just walk on campus and pass you out stuff. They can give you pens, they can give you school supplies, whatever else they want to be friendly about giving you donuts. Like, it's a lot of stuff. And homecoming, ugh, that's another thing, pro. You'll get a lot of stuff during homecoming time when people like want you to vote for them. That's that's when the free stuff really like come in clutch. And you be like, oh wow, thank you for the candy. Anyways, it's other stuff aside, can I just had to say that. So, anyways, move on to the next one. So, the next thing I want to talk about is another pro would be you will meet a lot of new people every day on campus of Georgia Southern. The people there in Georgia Southern is so friendly, you cannot help but to talk to them. Like, I know for me personally, I'm an introvert, okay? So, I don't really like talking to people for real, but I'm trying to work on that. It may not seem like I'm an introvert on video right now, but on camera, but I am an introvert. So, I'm an introvert, and so I be skeptical about, you know, talking to people and stuff, and I be like, ooh. But when I came to school, all that changed. Like, I started meeting new people. It even gave me confidence to, like, start reaching out to people first. Like, they're so friendly. You ain't got no choice but to say, hey. Like, you'll just be in the Chipotle area. Oh, just, that's another pro. They have Chipotle and Starbucks on campus. So, that's a pro. Anyway, and you can use your um, dining, dollar, dining dollars for that if you have dining dollars and Ego Express and all those different um, meal plans. So, I just know that there's a little pro in there, but yeah. I can explain that if you have any questions, you can comment down below. Or you can send me an email and I can help you to explain what I'm just saying if I'm talking too much. Sorry. So, anyways, yes. Yeah, so, like I was saying, people are so friendly. Like, for example, one day I was just going to library, but I stopped by the Starbucks. I was like, I want some coffee. Because, you know, I had a exam and stuff. So, I was just like, I want some coffee. Yeah, I need something to boost me up because I'm about to study this test. So, I ran across somebody and they just like tapped me on the shoulder. And I was like, hey, my name is blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, hey. And then it came to, um, I came to find out that me and that person had the same major and everything. So, it was just so wonderful because I never experienced that before. Like, somebody just walking up and speaking and we just having a conversation. And then after that, y'all become friends. And if y'all don't become friends, you still met a new person that day. So, that's all that matters. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next pro. Um, okay, so I think I'm getting close to... Well, no, I got a lot of more pros to go. I'm trying to give y'all a lot of information in a small amount of time, so please bear with me. But anyway, so another pro is they have a shuttle. Yes, Georgia Southern has a shuttle. You have the blue and gold route. That pretty much runs all day. Like, both of them shuttles run all day. Some shuttles can take you to your campus door and all around the campus, like, Different parts of campus, like we have a big campus, y'all. I'm just gonna put that out there. So you sometimes you're gonna be wanting to ride the shuttle to get where you need to go. Cause I don't caught myself riding the shuttle before, but even though I I thought I then wasn't gonna ride the bus. So anyway, so the buses, um, you know, they run from like different time period. They have a schedule online for you to look at if you was just curious to ride the shuttle for the for your class time that day or just to go take your books back to the bookstore and all this and that so or go to eat with your friends so you can ride the shuttle for anything on campus like they everything pretty much is like in a circle so the shuttle will get you there um the gold bus though is i'm gonna put that out there the gold bus moves quickly and they're good in my opinion um better than the blue route so the blue one kind of take a little slow because there's so many people on there and you know one little small little con with that i really want to add a con but i'm gonna just do it the con is the bus be so packed sometimes so you might have to make sure you set a time like an hour 30 minutes before your whatever you got going on make sure you pre prepare yourself because them buses sometimes gonna be really really hot I mean, not hot. Yeah, hot and packed. Especially in the fall time, if you're watching this. Fall time, definitely. But spring, the bus is kind of like die down just a little bit, but not so much. Um, morning and night, and like morning classes, I found myself that the bus is like really packed sometimes. And you know, a lot of people be on their 
just because they don't want to ride, um, walk to their morning class. But in the afternoon, it kind of be just overly packed. But if you find a seat, you, you got it good. <laughs> All right. So another pro is, moving on to the next pro. Another pro is if you can't or don't want to stay on campus, there are tons of off-campus apartments that are so affordable to live in. Um, which is a plus for me because sometimes, you know, you go to the universities and they be like, okay, you got to stay on campus. You have to have um, this amount of time before you can move out and stuff like that and build your own. You know, you have those type of campus that try to throw that in there just to trick you or get you like, try to get you for your money basically. But think about Georgia Southern in the surrounding area. There is a lot of off campus opportunities and i can vouch that for myself because as a transfer student to georgia southern i'm gonna just put that out there i was a transfer student to georgia southern as a transfer student i didn't know where i was gonna stay because my um financial aid uh no not financial aid because the housing got packed for the fall semester so i didn't know i was going to stay for the fall semester and i started in the fall fall 2020 during the pandemic so i kind of was just like oh my gosh what am i gonna do about housing and this and that and so i did my research and i found like this wonderful luxury um apartment complex off campus and if you want to know what's, what's that um luxury apartment complex that's affordable also just hit me uh comment down below and let and just comment and ask me and i will let you know or send me an email if you don't want to put your comment anyway so i did a um i did an off campus i had an off campus experience and it was actually great so basically what i'm trying to say is all on campus is very limited literally like you have to be on your stuff turn your application do everything they need you to do before you get approved to live on campus now, Jordan Sunday got a lot of off-campus off opportunities. You can even live in houses. You can even rent a house and get with your friends if you wanted to. I didn't do that, but, you know, I have a lot of people that did that. And you can do a lot of things like that. But, you know, my um, last school I went to, they didn't have a lot, a, lot, a lot of opportunities for you to stay off-campus. So, I really love that about Jordan Sunday that they have a lot of off-campus opportunities for you to stay if you can't stay on campus or don't want to stay on campus and it's not a requirement that you stay on campus only for your first year you do have to stay on there but once after your first is over sis bro you can move off <laughs> so that's the pro okay okay so let's move on to the next two one more we got two more pros y'all with me so next pro is you can get a good quality education from job offers. You can get a lot of things like connections. You have a lot of like great opportunities for your field, like especially like hands-on experience. Me as an education major, y'all, like it's Georgetown is a really good school for education majors. And um, also we have like the high rank for nursing students too. So if you're a nursing student, then you know just kind of consider George Southern. But anyway, so it's really a great high quality um university that will give you that education you really need. Like a lot of jobs, like look at George Southern, like okay, I know who you guys are, I know you're gonna be a good candidate for us miss whoever you are a mister blah blah because you went to georgia southern so it's a lot of connections along and behind georgia southern okay so moving on to the last pro overall i can say that you will have a great experience at georgia southern yes you're gonna have a great experience like i've been loving georgia southern ever since i even came to school i'm so grateful that i even came to this school it's really just the bomb.com like you will really fall in love in this school and you know as it is because it's a pwi you know you would think okay you know i may not like this or i may like it because you know it's very diverse i can't say that and it's just something that you don't want to take up because 
you want to you just really want to try it you know try Georgia Southern if you like the things that I've been stating and you know that it's catching your eye try it out and see first and if you don't like it of course you can go to somewhere else but I don't think you would ever leave Georgia Southern because it's just so great so the rate I would give Georgia Southern if I was giving a rate a 10 out of 10 yes because Georgia Southern you have been good to me <laughs> All right, so let's get into the cons. So the con I would say about Georgia Southern, and this is just for any university, you really could take it or leave it. But anyway, so one thing I can say is textbooks and bookstores items is very expensive. You'll see and you'll run into a lot of like complications and you will notice for yourself that the textbooks and um, any item out of that bookstore is just expensive. Especially if you don't have financial aid. If you don't have financial aid, you really out of luck. But if you got the funds, you can pay for it. But, you know, yeah. So the next one. Um, some of the professors are not approachable. Listen what I said. Some. Some. Y'all heard me? Some professors are not approachable. Just some, y'all. One thing I want to add, when you look up, when you're picking your professor, make sure you look up this thing called RateMyProfessor.com. And you can put in, like, your professor name, and of course, for Georgia Southern. And then, like, you can put it in the search box and then the professor name, and you can put click. And then when you put click on it, it will give you the rates of what people have been saying about this professor. Bad, good. What you need to watch out for, the grade they got, if you need a textbook or not for that course. Like, they give you very specific feedback of of these professors. So, I really highly recommend y'all to look at that before y'all pick out professors. But, of course, if you don't have no choice to pick and look at that thing, when if you don't have an option to look at um, the choices for Georgia Southern, like professors, then you just going to have to do what you got to do and pick the one that they give you okay um second con is if you don't have a map on the georgia southern campus statesboro georgia and um yeah the statesboro campus you may get lost okay you may get lost for real because i know my few days i'm a i was a transfer transfer student don't get me wrong but i know my few days i got so lost like so lost and I was to the point where I kind of was late. But don't get me wrong, like, the first couple of days of classes, like, you have different people out there helping y'all, like, the store leaders and stuff. And the people that, um, you know, the staff itself, like, some people that just want to help and stuff. But the freshmen, and the freshmen, they will help y'all out first day. But if you upperclassmen, they'll help you. But then again, you might just need to learn on your own because they're going to look at you kind of weird. So, you can get lost, okay? All right, moving on to the next kind. You can't park. The next kind, this was this the one that I really, 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 really don't like. If you can't park, no, you can't park anywhere on campus unless you have a pass at that building or you'll get an email with a ticket. You will. It's no if as about it. You will get a ticket. <laughs> You look at a ticket, yes. You can't have, if you like, if you, for example, and I'm going to do this in my later video, but for example, if you supposed to be parking in lot 21 and you're not parked in lot 21, ticket. Ticket. Yes, ticket. So that's something you need to be really thinking about when it comes to them parking passes, sweetie. Don't be thinking you're trying to take the cheap way out and pay for parking two days, two dollars a day. And you forget, or you weren't late because you got to take a exam, and you get a ticket. And them tickets don't be cheap either. Them tickets don't be cheap at all, okay? <laughs> Y'all know I'm salty about that because I, ooh. And I feel like you, if you paying tuition, of course, and you paying this expensive parking, parking pass amount, and you paying it towards your parking pass. So, for example, I got a parking pass at a specific lot that I only can park at. You only can park at that lot. So you might want to think about, okay, where's the most of my classes going to be? What building? And then 
you need to think about where you're going to be located most, mostly for both semesters. So for me, I'm in lot 21 on the George Southern campus, and I'll show you that later as well. But I got to stay there for a whole entire school year. I can't change my life. Well, I think you can, but I don't know about that. But, oh, you might have to pay an extra fee if you try to change your lot. But I don't think you can break it. So, I can't go park on lot 30 because I'm only supposed to be parking in lot 21. You get it? Okay. So, just FYI for that. Okay? Just let you know. Alright, next con. Next con. Okay, we already talked about that. Alright, so... In the fall time, y'all, this is the biggest con and maybe it's for you. And I have like a few cons, so this might be like a little long video, but I'm trying to get y'all the tea, okay? Um, in the fall, there is so many people on campus. The weather is extremely hot. Yes, the weather is so hot. <laughs> the weather is so freaking hot, y'all. Like, it's so hot. Because I think it's because we kind of kind of close to the ocean because savannah's above us so i'm guessing maybe because we're close to savannah or why it's so hot but it'd be so hot okay you be you're gonna have nets flying around you you're gonna be sweating like i never sweat a day in my life y'all until i went to jordan Southern. it's not that bad but it's bad because you just gotta be prepared okay All right, so the next time is, doo -doo -doo, is they might have a lot of parties sometimes. And when I first came here, before I came here, people said to me, oh, it's a party school. It's a party school. It's a party school. And I was like, okay. I didn't believe them. <laughs> I didn't believe them, y'all. But when I came here, y'all, I was like, okay. I see what y'all talking about. Because... There is a lot of parties, and you know, sometimes it can hinder that from your study, studying and stuff, but it's not too bad to where you like, okay, I'm finna call the feds, I'm finna call the whole SWAT team because they get on my nerves, or they just booming it down. It ain't it like that, but it, it is a party school, kind of, but it has slowed down a little bit. Um, it's not just like party every day, like nah not that but it is like party like every other weekend um and it's a lot of party locations so yeah all right moving on to the next thing okay so this might be the one where y'all want to tune in <laughs> so sometimes you will never hear from your academic advisors at Georgia southern um sometimes you have to make your schedule yourself and personally i did that from i did this because my professor she well not my professor i'm sorry my advisor she would never like get in contact with me sometimes or me i'm just like a plan ahead type student like i just do my thing and get it done i don't really depend on nobody not not really but anyway so you might want to be like very precautious that you may have to like you know step and do it on your own to make your own schedules and stuff because sometimes you will never hear from your advisor sometimes you will just get your your ran and you'll probably hear about that when you go to um, orientation you'll get your ran number your content map for your major and that's it in an email okay in an email that's it you won't even know your advisor name if they're alive you won't even know the whole entire semester sometimes this don't go for everybody because I know some advisors do be content and their students, but specifically, you know, certain departments, it's, they slack it's really bad. So that's a con by Georgia Center. All right. So, and also, I just want to say that it might be just a university thing because I don't, I'm pretty sure Georgia Center is not the only school that have like advisors that, you know, text back or email back or get in touch with their students whenever you know all right we got three more cons <laughs> so con as far as activity like off campus activities i did touch base like in the uh, previous of this video that it was some pros that it's a lot of on campus activities and events but off campus 
and activities and outings, there are really not so many things you can do, y'all. Like, you might be bored here right now, but you're not going to be completely like, oh, I'm, not, I'm so bored. I just want to puke or something. But it is kind of boring to a certain extent. So you may have to try like Savannah, you have to, might gotta go up the road to Savannah, or you might have to go to South Carolina up the road, which a lot of people do, especially like around the summer and hot time. Um, and a lot of people go up there, and it's just like an hour or two, so if you like to, if you like to travel, it shouldn't be a problem, okay? But if you just like used to the normal of just not doing so much, and may find yourself a little bored here and there, then you should be fine. I mean, I dealt with it. I really stayed in my room if I didn't have class or intern, so it wasn't bad for me. You know, I really just did self-care or hung up my friends here and there and stuff like that, so it's not horrible. All right, so the next con is some professors make things so difficult without it having to become difficult, if you know what I'm trying to say. Like, based on what I'm trying to say is they have high expectations on you. And when it comes to, like, the workload and the assignments, like, they would say, like, basically when you look back at the course, you're like, where was that that you told me to do a long time ago? Where is that playing out in my future and now? So, like, basically they be having high expectations. So, be prepared for that. That's just like a con. But I guess that's a good thing because you need to be having high expectations so you can be ready for your career and your field. So, so get ready to work, y'all. Basically, what I'm trying to say. Just get ready to work. <laughs> um. So, this is our last con. Is it may be difficult to find and get familiar with first with the first couple days because the camp is so big. But then again, it's like a pro because you can get your steps in, your exercise, honey. You can, it, you know, it can be beneficial if you like walking. For me, I love walking. So when I be on campus, I just be like living my best life because I like walking. <laughs> so, and if you like jogging and like make sure you like exercise and people jog and stuff all the time on campus. And our campus is so beautiful, so pretty, like, yes. But... If you know you just ain't going to like walking and stuff and you know you lazy when it comes to walking and you got to hurry up and get to class and you're going to procrastinate, then you may not like the fact that it's a, everything's a walking distance. It is. Yeah. So, keep that in mind. Um, but, yeah. So, that's all my pros and cons, y'all. Like, that's it. I, have a, I had a bunch of stuff for y'all and I was just over... I think I overly thought about what I should wanted to say to y'all, but I think I gave y'all very, very good details about what Georgia Southern pros and cons is. So that's a wrap. Um, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to comment down below, or like I said, send me an email in the description box or in the info page to the right of my channel. Um, if you don't have any questions, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and share this with your friends, share this with your cousins, share it with everybody, and I will get back with y'all in the next video. So, be ready to see me. Bye. See you next time, family.